Ooh, shiny. Designers, adding your artwork onto product mockups in Photoshop is really fun, but shiny objects are a little trickier. Now obviously you can use a blend mode like Color Burn. This shows the shine through, but it can change the color of your designs, which isn't always what you want. Or you can use Blend If, where you break apart the light values by holding Alt or Option, but this can leave your design looking a little muted. There's a better way, so let's start from scratch. And using the Crop tool, I'm gonna hit this Straighten button and draw a line down the middle of this bottle to straighten it up. This is gonna make things a heck of a lot easier when we place our design. Now I draw a rectangle slightly wider than the edges, convert this to a smart object, warp it into place, and mask off where the fingers are. Now I can drop my logo into that smart object, meaning that if I wanna change the design later, I could just double click in to swap out the design. That was a bit fast, but if you wanna know more about making customizable mockups for your clients, then you should definitely check out my Photoshop training, link in bio. Now with our design in place, and rotated back into position, and no blend modes at all on this logo, I'm gonna duplicate our original bottle image up over the top, hold Alt or Option on our mask and drag it onto our new layer. And then I'm gonna add a levels effect to this layer only by holding Alt or Option between the layers and clipping it. Then just drag the slider from the left to make those shines stand out in white. Now if we apply a screen blend mode to that layer, bam, instant shine. If it's a bit heavy, you can knock back your opacity or tinker with the slider on your levels to perfect it. Oh, by the way, if you like that, I'm running a little sale right now. We can get all three of my logo design trainings as a bundle. Just hit the link in my bio.